Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with a quick video in which I'm explaining the new base building features uh, that Supercell added, and it's really cool, uh, very convenient for me and other people that uh, spend a great deal of time, you know, building bases and uh, tweaking them in various ways. So uh, I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, uh, the reason I'm doing this, I guess, is I don't have any attacks to show because the update wiped clean the replays. So um, I'll be getting back to that as soon as I can. But anyway, uh, you can see here they now have this little menu that uh, is like the chat kind of that you can just kind of pull out when you want uh, and get rid of when you just want more room to build your base. So there's a bunch of different features here. Just the erase mode, obviously, so you can uh, just tap on a building to get rid of it, which makes it easy for all the mistakes you make when you're with your base building. Uh, the remove all, pretty self-explanatory, just removes everything. The move all is probably the best feature within this uh, base build change that I that uh, they've added because now if I have this entire base that's been built and let's pretend this is some huge base that is really cool I can hit move all and then I can just tap these arrows and move everything I've put down now obviously eventually you won't be able to because we get all the way down here this option goes away because it'll slide off the map and then once you're done you just hit the check mark and uh, that way it saves you so much time when your base is off center you can just grab it, uh, you know, kind of lasso it almost and kind of, and then pull it over in the direction you want. So hugely convenient there, really awesome stuff. Um, the next thing is view walls, which is something that um, isn't that big of a deal, but it, I guess it helps a little bit. So if I have like a little base going here and I want to stop and just look at where the walls are laid out, I can do that. This allows me to see any gaps in the walls, anything like that. And uh, the, the buildings are still here. You can see the little darker green area. That way when you're adjusting walls, you can't move stuff onto the buildings you've put down. Uh, but they're, they just kind of sink away, which helps you see your base a little better in terms of walls. So that's very cool. Uh, scout view. So this will take away any kind of stuff that won't be seen by the attacker or the, whoever's scouting your base. So if I have like all these traps that I throw down, uh, scout view, boom, they're gone. So it lets you see what your base looks like to an attacker, so you can take a look at it from their side of the uh, of the process, which gives you a new perspective on it. Uh, last thing is photo mode, which I think is also really cool for uh, what I do, which is you know even posting plans. Uh, well, I guess not posting plans as much, but posting bases, reviewing stuff. It makes it so much easier because when you hit that uh, photo mode, everything goes away. It's just the base. Uh, so the entire side goes away, then you tap and it comes back. So very cool there. That way you don't have to try to zoom all the way out and try to fit everything in. So uh, sorry about that. Just another feature that makes base building a little easier. And uh, obviously it's still hard to base build, but it makes the process easier, I guess is what I'm saying. Then the finish later and the cancel. So uh, very cool stuff. Really happy this was added. It wasn't advertised that much, but it's something that's definitely going to be noticed by me and other people. And I think pretty much everyone as they build their bases and uh, go about tweaking them in certain ways. So anyway, uh, tomorrow I'll have probably more of a comprehensive update overview uh, once I get some attacks to put in the background. And then uh, I'll probably have an announcement also, just a few channel updates and stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, this is all I have today. Thanks for watching though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.